Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force with some more Elder Scrolls Online. Today I'd like to talk with you about public dungeons. Now these are different from your standard instanced and group dungeons, which ESO does still have. You can still roll into uh, specific group dungeons with some of your friends. Public dungeons are meant to be these large areas that anyone can enter. They're meant to be very, very difficult for an individual player you'll be met with a significant challenge. However, if you randomly encounter people in these dungeons, it's it's a great uh, chance for camaraderie and for teaming up with someone that you've never worked with before to meet this challenge head on. And that's exactly what I encountered in Toothmaw Gully. This was the first public dungeon that I entered with my Khajiit. It was around level 10. And upon walking in, I, I saw this little NPC interaction. There was basically this guy being held hostage by an elf. As soon as I walk closer, the elf runs away. I talk to the guy, he says, uh, the Toothmaw Small goblin clan encounters these caves, they're very aggressive, and this mysterious elf who is just about to kill me, uh, she appears to be helping them. Can you please figure out what's going on? So of course I agree, I walk into the dungeon, I encounter my first enemy, and just this single goblin, you know, I dispatch of him, no problem. I'm immediately thinking, okay, well this isn't any more difficult or challenging than anything else I've done so far. However, right after I encounter that first enemy, I notice there's a lot of big, big groups, and that's exactly how these public dungeons appear to be formed. Typically, you'll face one to two enemies at a time going throughout the normal world or those normal small dungeons and caves. However, in public dungeons, I, I was noticing the groups were at least three and up to five and six enemies at any given time. So if you're playing solo, it is a significant challenge. I went through this entire dungeon solo. It took me about an hour, but I was able to do it. I couldn't kill everyone because there were some very difficult enemies and bosses, but most of the groups I could handle, it just took some thinking. I had to really look at the group and say, all right, who's my easiest target that I can kill the fastest? Then I can CC this guy. Then I can heal myself up if necessary, go back into invisible, backstab that guy. I mean, it was actual difficult gameplay, which was a nice relief from what had been pretty face roll up into this point. So the public dungeons really provided me with my first big challenge in this game. Now, beyond large, difficult groups of enemies, there were also traps scattered throughout the dungeon. They were these bear traps that if I were to walk into, they would immobilize me and do a little bit of damage. The damage wasn't anything significant, but again, this is an early dungeon. I am hoping that in the later dungeons, the traps will absolutely be something that you need to avoid. Otherwise, they may just kill you if they don't outright do fatal damage. I think they should do pretty close to fatal damage, so that if you're encountering a an enemy group and you accidentally walk into a trap, I think you should die because these should actually be difficulty rather than a momentary nuisance where you're immobilized for two seconds and then you go along your way and your health instantly regenerates because that really it wasn't much but again this is an early dungeon so it is what it is so yeah large groups of difficult enemies a three to six at any given time the only solo enemies that I encountered besides that initial one at the very start of the dungeon were mini bosses or actual uh, big bosses the big bosses I could not do I tried the one that was near the end of Toothmaw Gully, he whooped my ass. It was not even close. I tried everything I could think of. I tried multiple times. Uh, every time I died, I had to go back to the start of the dungeon, and then there are enemy respawns, so making my way back to him was a pain in the butt. And I tried a few times, and it was just not working. So, really, really difficult end bosses that do require a group. If you're going through it solo, you're gonna be SOL, but I like that. I think that's good, because this should be a challenge, and I'm glad it's a challenge. There was also an entire story that unfolded as I went through the dungeon, various NPCs I encountered. I, I found a rogue goblin who wasn't interested in fighting, he just wanted to sweep. No hidden face, by sweep. So he said, you know, I'm willing to help you out, I'll give you some information, just don't kill me. And I said, yeah, sure, you seem like a nice guy. I also met a Khajiit who was tied up. After freeing him, he asked me to steal some of the armor and weapon stashes that the goblins had and bring it to him by the coastline. I, of course, agreed to that. And there's also a ton of loot. Chests galore, lots of things to harvest, uh, various plants and mines and all sorts of stuff like that. And a lot of these mini boss NPCs drop some good loot as well. So there was an instance where I was actually going in between these two mini bosses just to keep sort of farming them. And I really liked that. That's something uh, about MMOs that I, I sort of enjoy that experience. Playing it solo, I can tell you, it was incredibly difficult. Uh, between these large 
large difficult groups and the mini bosses with the respawns I really felt trapped in this place but I kind of liked it and it was a great feeling knowing that if anyone were to come along at any moment we would team up together and we would go along and maybe we could kill that big end game boss but me myself uh, it just wasn't gonna happen. And that is gonna do it guys for my quick introduction to public dungeons taking a look at Tooth Maw Gully. I have to say I really like this. The simplest way to think about it is again it's just a an area that's challenging solo that if you find some people to group up with it's much easier. Uh, you know in interviews they've talked about oh yeah public dungeons haven't been done since back in the day with EQ but I mean, there have MMOs, WoW even has challenging areas where there's elites that are difficult solo. So it's the same sort of concept, uh, but either way, I, I liked it. Again, this was my first really challenging combat experience in this game that required some thinking and finesse and I quite enjoyed that. So that's gonna do it guys for my ESO coverage. I have used up my allotted 15 minutes of gameplay footage. Once the NDA lifts further, which I'm sure will in the future, uh, once that happens, then I can provide you with some more coverage. I just don't know when that's gonna happen. And um, yeah, there's really no telling at this point. But if we get a further lift of the NDA, expect some more coverage from me because I'm gonna keep playing this game. It is pretty fun. Uh, I'm really starting to get into it and I'm digging it right now. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning.